Yeah, so just uh, a little bit of decoding. And now we've got somebody else ready. Who we got here? Hi, Bill. Um, this is Tristan. I'm coming from uh, Los Angeles. Hi, Tristan. What? It's pretty cool. What do you have there? It's like, what is this hanging? <laughs> Uh, this is kind of the setup I use when I get on calls. This is just like a little, um, you know, uh, things you put for windows and stuff. Oh, I, I was like, do you have a little snacks in those bag? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just in case I get hungry. Yeah, that's good. It's good. I, I, we're virtually, I would have asked you to pass it to me, but I don't know if we've got, we've got that technology. Oh, got it. Thank you. <laughs> there it is. All right. That's so, amazing. yeah. So what, what's up? Like, what is the deepest question you've got? And not... Like, uh, like, what is holding you back? Because we can both feel it, mm. right? So maybe I could start with just sharing what I've been experiencing, and yeah. then from there we could uncover the onion and then see what's coming up from there. Okay. So most recently, I feel like as a younger coach, uh, I'm 21. I started VHC when I was like 19-ish. So the past couple of years, there's just been a lot of just inner work, uh, and it's just been moving really fast. When I started the, my business, I feel like I was trying to make something work based on what I thought would look good and what I thought needed to look good in order for me to survive financially. Um, and then being full time, I, I kind of just threw myself out there. I quit my job and um, I dropped out of school and I said, this is my passion. This is what I want to do. I was very young at the time, and throughout this year, it's it's been just getting deeper and deeper, and I feel like I've been growing so fast, doing more inner work, and, and you know, having more of these type of conversations that I am feeling like a little bit of unclarity when it comes to my business, because it, it started as health coaching, and then I, it was life coaching, and then now it's like I'm I'm getting deeper with myself that I'm not sure how to even reflect that now at through my business. I know I've been informed to take things slower and to let things just happen and to stop trying to force things. Um, and most recently, that's what I've been doing. So I'm in a space, Bill, where I feel like I am choosing to step out of this closet I was putting myself in when it comes to my business. I was like in this in the spiritual closet where I was afraid of really allowing my full self to be seen when it comes to the things I'm passionate about, my practices. So part of, I, what, of what I feel I'm experiencing is the allowing and the surrendering. So with that being said, what, what do you feel from your position looking behind the screen into my energy would be the best kind of option and choice for me to move forward with considering the, the speed and um, kind of yeah. where I'm moving forward in the trajectory. Uh, what does your shirt say? Uh, so this says, <laughs> I forgot I was wearing this shirt, uh, psychedelics change lives. Yeah, um, so a, 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 couple of, a couple of things uh, are coming up for me. Number, there's two. The okay. first thing is um, you've done something that most people wouldn't dream of doing. You found what you love and you changed the entire course of your life to follow that passion. That is not most people's experiences. So like the first thing that, that, that's coming up for me is, um, is like that's what you ought to be coaching people on because there's a whole lot of people stuck in completely passionless, passions, passionless lives. And it's not because they didn't see the path. It's because they were scared to take it, but you weren't. Mm -hmm. You went for it. So you are uniquely qualified to do that. Mm -hmm. So that's what you can do. And the second thing, I didn't even know what your shirt said, but I just saw the letters and I was like, there's something in a shirt <laughs> that's like part of his right. past. Right. Right. So I don't know, you know, because there's legal implications of all of this, but there's something around being able to, and it might not necessarily even need to be with psychedelics. It might be with holotropic breathing or any of those where you can create uh, altered states in people so that they can, in that altered state, really grab on to what they're passionate about. 
right? So it's connecting these two things that I know that you're going to rock it with, right? Mm. Yeah. You, I, I hope you notice how much you lit up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's not about choosing life coaching, health coaching. It's really choosing you mm. and your path and your experience and, it, and the wisdom that you've been, been able to acquire at such a young age. Holy moly. Mm. At 21, I was still sucking lollipops. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Bill. I, I'm receiving that with much gratitude and that was a well-needed message. So I acknowledge you for acknowledging me. And one, just one last thing that came up for me was even being receiving this, I get lit up and I, uh, I have Sagittarius in my chart. Uh, my birthday's coming up. So I get very excited. I get very worked up. I've, I've experienced this shiny object syndrome multiple times. And from the last um, kind of session that we were in, I, I resonated with her story. So with this excitement, what would you recommend starting on and what to focus on first before I, I, I dabble again and I get into yeah. that kind of loop? So this is a little different. This isn't excitement. This is your inner knowing that this is your path. Mm. And so, I mean, I'll go into some tangible. The first thing is that we need to craft your profitable marketing message and that becomes your business. Mm. Really, that's it. And then being able to create the kind of coaching, like taking all the foundational work that you've gotten. Also, you know, possibly taking the transformation coaching method and then infusing your magic into it. Right. So like literally everything we've been talking about is your next path. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. Thank you I'm, for I'm sharing. Gonna, I'm going to be looking for you. I'll be here. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Much love. All right. Do we have time for more? One more? Is it